question is that the motion be agreed to. Reno Terakatni. Tēnākwe, Mr. Speaker. I'm uh, pleased to uh, make a contribution at this first reading of the Border Processing Trade Single Window and Duties Bill. And so uh, we on the Labour Party are, are supporting this bill. Uh, at one level, the bill is very non-controversial. Uh, it's actually quite constructive in a lot of ways. The, the actual genesis of the joint border management system um, occurred when we were in government, and I, I acknowledge the former Minister of Customs here, uh, my colleague Nanaya Mahuta. Uh, so the, the joint um, initiatives, collaborative work between agencies to uh, modernise and to improve their systems is, 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 is what our agencies should be doing all the time. And uh, particularly so with when we are talking about our borders, sir, because our border management system is, is critical to, to our, whole, our livelihood as a country, as we all know. And uh, it doesn't take us much to remind everybody here that, you know, uh, our, we have challenges every day on our borders. Um, $80 billion worth of uh, goods are transacted or, or, or um, move backwards and forwards into our country, sir. Uh, we have over 10 million travellers that to and fro across our borders, sir. We like to welcome our manuhiri, uh, those, those travellers, but we also want to put up our par defences uh, for those things that are unwanted, whether it be uh, persons uh, or cargo or biosecurity uh, incursions and threats, sir. So this is a, as I've mentioned, a, a non-controversial bill in, in one way. We, we want to improve our, our border processes and our border management system, but I think we also need to look at it, uh, if we take a step up and look at the context of these new IT information systems and um, look at uh, the, the disasters which have occurred in the past, sir. Uh, I only need to mention uh, words like INSYS, and um, uh, that makes people... <laughs> that, 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 that sends a shudder through uh, opposite members who, who may have been uh, uh, connected with the police in the 90s, sir. Or, or um, obviously, one, a more recent example is Novapay. Um, you know, that, that is uh, into, the, into the lexicon of uh, another absolute disaster in, of, of implementing these new IT platforms. So, you know, these are, when, when we're looking at the uh, trade single window, sir, this is a, 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 a positive measure, we do support it, and we want to make sure that the implementation of this new system is a success. Our uh, freight importers, exporters, uh, cargo, um, logistics industries are reliant on um, being able to get submit information and receive information from uh, the relevant uh, government agencies involved on our border and so uh, it is a welcome change that we have a live system now that they can have a single point of entry whereby they can do all their uh, bits and pieces of messaging with their new systems uh, to be able to actually get the, get the business done. And so the trade single window as part of this joint border, border management system um, is a great improvement for our, for our border management agencies and for managing and promoting the flows of commerce and trade across our borders. Uh, so we do support that. Um, if we look at the, uh, the different players in the industry, uh, I know that they have been very supportive and have worked closely with the uh, relevant agencies on this. This is, as I've mentioned, this is a, a very big project. Uh, hitting up to in excess of $80 million. It's actually a bit more than was originally budgeted for the project, but I think, uh, you know, uh, given the importance of this, this new platform and, the, and, and these new um, uh, tools that our uh, exporters and importers and the whole industry are using, and uh, we, we want to do it right. And so there have been delays, but it's better that the, these systems are thoroughly tested, are thoroughly um, in conjunction with the industry to make sure that they do run smoothly. And uh, I re recall from the briefing from the Minister at the uh, estimates hearing uh, before the 
uh, Select Committee, which I sat in on, uh, the Minister mentioned that the two systems, the, the, the uh, former system, oh, which I can't quite remember off the top of my head, another uh, an acronym or uh, type of uh, name, but that system will be running in parallel with the new CUSMOB, that's it. The, the CUSMOB system will be running in parallel with the new trade single window system for at least the next 18 months. So those users who still want to use the old system and feel safe under that can gradually migrate over or transition into the new trade single window. So I think the Minister has um, been very careful, I suppose, in the rollout of this new, of this new um, platform. It is, uh, I, th I suppose he only needs to look to uh, his, his colleagues in terms of the noble pay and uh, to the past and the, the huge disasters that, is, that has happened in the past to make sure that this piece of um, uh, um, this new technology platform uh, is a success. Be um, and the Minister uh, himself acknowledged that if there is a failure of this um, new system, it would be catastrophic for, for us, uh, us as a country, which is why we have to get it right. Uh, catastrophic in terms of if there's interruptions to trade, uh, interruptions to uh, um, imports, exports, uh, but most fundamentally, sir, it's, it's the impact that it will have on our uh, international reputation. And we have seen in recent days and weeks, sir, the, uh, what an impact um, certain blunders um, happening within our relevant agencies, uh, what the impact of those blunders. We only need to look at um, MPI, uh, the, the, the loads of uh, containers of our, of our meat sitting on those borders, uh, sorry, sitting in uh, China, um, unable to be processed. Uh, that was a huge faux pas on the part of officials and as we understand, it was only came down to uh, the uh, incorrect um, filling out of a form not describing because of the name change between uh, from, from the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry to the, uh, to the new super, super Ministry MPI. So those sorts of uh, blunders can have huge consequences on our exporters, on our primary sector, on our farmers, uh, and that flows through right, right across our economy. And so we need to make sure that we have really good systems and uh, we are always looking to improve and modernise and promote joint cooperation among the uh, different agencies that are involved because it is very complex. But we um, also need to uh, make sure that we have the resourcing that goes into those agencies which can support these flash new tools and new trade single windows and joint border management system type uh, systems. So, and that's where I get to the point, sir, that you can have the... Uh, flashest IT systems and technology, but if you don't actually have frontline investment on people that can fill out forms, that can actually be proper lab technicians, that can do tests, that can actually identify or not particular bugs or potential threats, these have huge consequences in terms of our international reputation and uh, on the potential uh, well-being and standard of living of uh, many of us here in Aotearoa. So what we don't want to see, and what we, but what we have seen under this government, is a reduction in the budgets for frontline services for the likes of MPI and Customs, and a real big emphasis and focus on these new IT type systems. But as we've seen, fundamental, just basic clerical mistakes, um, a uh, dirty pipe in a Fonterra and a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a and a and a and a technician, obviously, who didn't, um, who wasn't thorough in terms of their uh, analysis of the samples that were taken, can have huge impacts across the whole economy, and so that's why we need to make sure we have a really good balance between the systems and the resourcing on our front line. But apart from that, sir, I commend this bill to the House. I called John Hayes.